Okay, that was just like, I feel like the most terrible takes I've seen. That's, that's quite well, literally the like, the least nuanced takes I've seen ever on, on, on Diablo 4. That's, that's impressive. So this is Fox News. No, For Forbes News. So um, the lead Forbes guy or something. Some, some Forbes guy. Paul Tassie. All right. I am back with another Diablo 4 video. I almost said Diablo 2. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I have obviously still been playing a whole lot other than my obligatory uh, hour of destiny per week, which will commence again tomorrow at reset. I don't know how many weeks the story is even really continuing. I think maybe another three. I'm not sure. I think there's an exotic quest at some point too, which okay. will be fun. Uh, but in terms of Diablo, um, I now have a 72 barbarian, 56 rogue in a 30 two druid i think okay. uh so as you can see i am skipping around quite a bit and uh people are telling me that i'm i'm doing this wrong <laughs> because uh today i want to talk about the seasonal model so i spent all morning trying to like figure out exactly how the seasonal model is going to go based on how diablo 3 and i guess two seasons worked based on things blizzard has said already and then based on like people trying to fill me in at least on how it, they think it works and then some stuff is like still a little nebulous so the main crux of diablo seasons are to have a seasonal character and level them from scratch like over the course of however long the season is uh now they're going to be i don't remember how long they were in d3 but crux. like they're going to be three month seasons so four a year the idea is that you will take character from one to whatever. <laughs> there are seasonal ladders, so you want to, if you want to try and climb high on those, I know there will be a number of competitive people trying to do that. Uh, but for most normal people, the process will be kind of uh, re-leveling a character, playing the new content, there'll be new missions and stuff, uh, new enemies, they said, uh, uh, which what? is, I think, a change, and then some new loot. But uh, things are changing a little bit from D3. And the idea of re-leveling a character every season just doesn't really hold a lot of appeal for me. Um, I always have viewed Diablo... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Don't get every game is for everyone. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. You know, ultimately, then just play on non-season. That's why non-season exists. Diablo is kind of a long-term investment where I want to get my characters to max, give them one to three super powerful builds where I, I feel like they're they're very strong, uh, farm, you know, top-end loot until I think they're close to perfect, and then wait for an expansion. That is not really the goal remotely of the seasonal content. And the change here is, at least with seasonal characters now, Blizzard has said that they will be moved into what they call the Eternal Realm once you're done with that season. Yeah. So, so for people uh, like you. this is a, I, I think this is a pretty significant change where um, the idea is that, at least for the first few seasons here, that is theoretically when you should be leveling your alts. Even the fact that I have <laughs> done three characters at this point and bounced around between them. You can level your alt whenever you want to level your alt. What is he on about? What? So when you live with your alt? Live when you make an alt whenever you want to make an alt. If you want to make an alt during a season, make an alt during a season. You make an alt during non-season, make an alt during non-season. Um, I have probably uh, screwed up a little bit, and I will have to do necromancer or sorcerer if I want to start from scratch for a new season. I am what is, one thing that remains. What does he mean by that? What does he mean by he screwed up? I don't understand what he means by screwed up. So is he saying like it's not smart? He's just saved leveling one of these characters up so then he could level up a new character in the seat. I don't understand. I'm confused. I don't know how is he perceiving to screw up? Like playing the game and having fun is screwing up. I don't want to experience the season uh, when he starts a new character. Mm, okay. A little unclear is how exactly your eternal characters can contribute to the season because things are, are different in the sense where now Diablo 4 has a battle pass. And, well, I do not want to spend $25 on a single set of armor <laughs> for my characters. I, I would pay 10 bucks or whatever it is to kind of uh, go through a season pass and unlock cosmetics that way. That, to me, is a little more appealing. Go to 1 to 100. The, uh, the ornaments in... Why? Buying cosmetic versus buying cosmetic has a bar. I, I, I guess you, maybe you feel like you earn it more, but you're still just buying it, so... I <laughs> What is happening? I don't understand any of this guy's logic. It makes no sense to me. In the season pass, they have said are universal ornaments. So you're unlocking them across all your characters. 
And then there's going to be stuff like, I think, mounts and mount armor and mount trophies. I don't know. There's a lot of things they have. And then for, for seasonal stuff, for seasonal characters, on the free track, there are some bonuses, like bonuses to currency collection and gold and XP to make that process go a little bit faster. Um, but I, I am very curious <coughs> how this is going to go over. Because on the one hand, this has been how Diablo seasons have worked essentially forever. Like Diablo 2 had this to a certain extent. Diablo 3 had this. Diablo 3 had like 28 seasons or something. And so clearly there was uh, a market for that. Although Diablo 4 is, Dia is many people's first Diablo game. And I do wonder what kind of wall people might run into if suddenly they figure out that every season the goal is to re-level a character. And for the first, I guess, four seasons, uh, the first year, that could mean if you're if you're waiting to start an alt, then you just do your alt for that season. And then that becomes an internal character if, that you can save. Uh, that's not a bad plan. I do, ha well, I do wonder what happens in the longer term here where, okay, we have all the classes now, you know, what do you, are we, you know, you're just re-leveling alternate versions of those characters, which is definitely how Diablo 3 worked. That doesn't really hold a ton of appeal to me. I guess it is a... Okay, then don't play. Then don't, it's literally like, what is he, what is he on about? What is happening? He's not understand the idea of re-experiencing the game with new patches, new changes, new items, new loot, new balancing, new skills, new a uh, fucking, like, does he not understand? The fun part of a fucking game like this is to start off with a shit character and make it evolve over time as you collect gear, collect loot, and build the character. So they're basically giving you a reason to do the fun part of the game again, except with a new experience, right? You have, they, they you know, they put in new mechanics and they put in new loot and they put in new balancing changes. They put in new patches to classes with new skills. That's the point. He's acting like the point of the game is to just have a character leveled up. And then it's like, why would you level up another character if you've already leveled that character up? That's not the point of the game. That's not the point. Of, that's which is why he's having this fucking terrible idea and take. It's a giant, huge pain to like change builds right now. Um, they ha I just saw uh, Joseph say on, on Twitter that they are considering loadouts for the future, which is cool. Um, that's probably a, a news item that was just in my reply somewhere. Um, it is a, a giant pain to change over. Like I, I'm struggling now with my barbarian in tier four here a little bit because Wait, I'm- Wait, what? Loadout? They actually, are they actually considering that? Is that just a thing they're doing? I feel like that that fundamentally erodes like the core principles of the game. I feel like that's 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 like a that's a thing you should like if you could just switch character at will. There's no sense of permanence or like character identity, and any you could just be like, oh, I'm gonna go the hydra build now. All right, now I'm gonna be the fucking ice wizard, and now now I'm the fuck. I don't know. It just sounds again. That sounds like just bad. This it just sounds bad. It sounds like a bad idea. Uh, uh... I'm very not meta, but like to think about changing to a bleed build. It's like. To refarm all the ancestrals and uh, you know the point. spend millions of dollars on uh, re re getting all my paragon points. It's not supposed so, like, to be easy. It's supposed to be fresh in certainly there. Certainly a process. So I guess maybe the it's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to feel good when you complete that challenge. It's supposed to be like you know I'm on up a reset. I'm on up a reroll. That's the point. What the fuck. He's not wrong. No, it's like, oh, I just want to do it for free instantly. Like, let me just respec for free instantly always. And I can, let me just let my build always change. And then, and you know what happens? It's like, okay, now you've got like five different builds. You have like a field that you farm, like rifts with, you have a build that you push the eyes with, you, you, you got all these three builds and your character's like, hey, hey, hey. and your sense of character identity is, cause, I don't know. The question is, would C doves do this? Ask yourself, what would, you know, it's not what would Jesus do? What would Chris Wilson do, chat? Jesus Christ. The idea is that you could level an alternate barbarian to do another kind of build. What? However, why didn't D2 implement this? Why didn't the D2 tiffs? <laughs> why, why did the, why did they not give everyone infinite, like, like literally you just, it's free to respec and you can do it as many times as you want. Well, this is a, this guy's supposed to be a writer of the Forbes. This is the, the, the Forbes magazine guy. This is the Forbes, this is the Forbes magazine, like, computer guy that's talking right now guys so he's not like not like he's just like a or you are you're re-leveling the whole thing and i just talked about today how the higher levels of diablo <laughs> you know if you get a one barbarian to 100 you're probably not going to want to do that again on a second barbarian because the the final stages of that grind are so significantly longer than anything else i'm still kind of debating how what, what's that? He's, he's looking at like he's destination oriented like he's not he's not like he's not focused on the journey at all he's just like he's just it's it's 
which is just why is logic so fucking bad it's it's expect that he thinks uh, 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 like literally it's not about that it's, it's about the, the creation of the character and the journey that you go on that's the fun part of an ARPG or an RPG. Like, the, the, it is, it's, not, it's not like people don't just hit fucking thing and like, yeah, sweet, I had so much fun now I did this thing. It's literally the opposite. You like hit that end and you're like, well, okay, I guess I'm bored now because I've finished progressing my character. Yeah, he thinks that the goal, the only goal is 100, which is just not the goal. It's not, that's not the point. He's miss, he's fundamentally missing what makes like RPGs, like an a, well, ARPG specifically, like the so, so, so good. How I'm going so, to so, engage so with Diablo seasonal content. Because one of the questions I have is, is what can your eternal characters do during a season of okay. Diablo 4? Because that has not really been made clear yet. They're, they are going to do some sort of developer deep dive into seasons in July, but that's a couple weeks away, so I'm kind of just left to speculate at the moment. If your eternal characters can contribute some sort of XP toward uh, their specific milestones within the season. That's what they went over with me um, beforehand. So it's kind of like Destiny seasonal challenges where it's like do the specific thing Bro, and that get this guy away from games big chunks of xp to get get this guy away from any developers that if, like if he has any sort of influence over games like oh my god like if this guy can convince a dev to like make it like holy shit like fucking people can just transfer their fucking level 100 into seasons or some shit like what the fuck like oh my god like that, that the thing is that I feel like that just make the exact same arguments. Like that you know I feel like if you talk to a dev they would quickly explain to him that hey that's cool that you want that Guess what? For people like you, you can play in the Eternal Realm. That's what it's there for. People who like, you know, just want to casually play the game and they just try and update whenever it comes out. That's the point of the Eternal Realm. You can do that. But ultimately, the game is far more replayable, and the point of the game is hey, to actually re-experience the game again with via a different lens. Right? That's the whole point. It's like the reason why you keep playing PoE. You come back to PoE. The reason it's, it's because each time you do it, you come back and there's a new, there's there's new end game. There's new stuff. There's there's a new way to level. There's new builds there's new items there's new specs there's new patch there's new rebalancing it's like how is your journey going to go this time you don't know and that's the fun part right it's going through that journey and collecting that gear and you know going through that like that power creep and popping off ramping getting your build online pop you know that that's that feeling dude of when your build comes online and you start popping off dude and then you start getting loot and you're like fuck i just need this this and that and then you're on that item hunt and then you stop popping, and then you get to everything you want, and your character's basically done at that point, and you beat all the end game content, and you're like, fuck. All right, we go again, and then you start again. You start again. Through the battle pass, I do not know if all of those are okay, only- Okay, what is, what is this? First day of PG I've got 1,500 hours in D2 and 2,000 hours in D3. Jesus Christ. What the hell were you doing for 2,000 hours in D3 if you weren't doing seasonal stuff? Six max characters on PC, six max consoles, loads of different builds, head fun. Max characters? What does he even mean by max characters? So is he like Paragon 9,000? I'm like, I'm fucking maxed out. I did the Ramalady's gift. I got my set bonus, boy. Log the fuck in, brother. Only exclusive to seasonal characters, and you just can't do them on permanent characters. That seems like that could be the case, given how reliant uh, past Diablo seasons were on this idea of, of a brand new character. Um, so I, I don't really know how that's going to play out. I am not 100% sure if your permanent characters can play the new quest lines. I would think they could. Because um, I, I think the content of the season is free. Is free. They're just You're just paying. Fuck you, standard Andes. You don't get shit. You should be incentivized to try re- The thing is, they need to coax people out like this. People with this dog shit mindset simply haven't tried it and they don't realize how good it is. It's, the point is, you should. there should be advantages to playing on seasons. There should be stuff that's not available. So that way, like, hmm, maybe I should. Because once they try it, they're going to realize, wait, this is like 10 times better. They, 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 need, they, need, to give, they need to give something to- They need to have some sort of incentive to, like, Get the standard gamers out of their dog shit mindset of like, I don't want to relevel again. I just want to play my max guy, right? Like, no, if you really want to, if you really, really, really want to do that, guess what? You can, and that's why that shit exists. But there should be an incentive to get out of that fucking, you know, go, join into the economy reset, join into the. It's not even CNT for the economy reset. It's like a big deal, but not really in the same respect of other games where there's actual active trade and stuff going on. It's a big deal of just. To delete all your progression, right, and to start again with fresh and have to refarm out all legendaries and re to go on that, you know, that that item hunt, right? It resets the item hunt. Paying for the battle pass, like that is what is being sold with the season. So, I, I, if I can play the new content, experience the new enemies, if I can farm the new loot items without leveling a new character, you know, from level one again, that has some appeal to me. 
So, and that's and that's and just terrible and boring and unfun. You've got a character that's maxed out, got all the shit, and some new guys come out, and you just come in and just immediately one shot them all. And you're like, mm, I'm experiencing this new content. Like, I don't know, didn't that just sound terrible? Didn't that just sound awful? The only way you can make that work is if you invalidated all previous loot and then made a bunch of new loot that's better than all previous loot. So then you, your character's shit again, so then you have to refarm. But guess what? Now you're just doing a pseudo season at that point. They're just invalidating all your gear, but you get to keep it technically. It's just a Wool of Warcraft fucking expansion. Like, that's like, that's literally like, you know, that's what's happening. And then you, you're just doing a season. That's what's, you're, that's, it's just not cool to season. Well, I might do this for, you know, uh, Sorcerer and Necromancer, which are characters I don't have yet. I, I just wonder past that, like, I've already started these ults. I don't really want to delete my 56 Rogue or even my 32 Druid. Like, yes, I know you can power level and blah, 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 but like, I don't really want to do that again. Um, so I, I'm very curious kind of what you all think about this, because I know it's kind of a split between Diablo veterans and new players that hear this and they're like, wait, what? Like, I have to level a character from scratch? Like, It's because I don't understand. They haven't thought about it deeply enough. They're not, they're, they're, they're narrow minded and they're just look, they're destination oriented instead of journey oriented. That's what they don't understand. They don't realize the fun part is the journey and not actually the destination. It's because it's a brain dead low IQ mindset and it's like a basic fact of life. Like you think, oh, I'm going to be happy when I get X. I'm going to be happy when Y. I'm going to be happy. They can, you sit there being miserable instead of just enjoying the moment. And then once you realize, wait, if I enjoy the moment, it's just way better. And that's like one of these things where it's not about just hitting 100, brother. Like it doesn't really sound like it makes a ton of sense or that's that's something that's very appealing and yet a ton of people love it but like i i just some guy replied to me on twitter and he's like eternal characters are for like testing up builds and um yeah. preparing for seasonal content because that's like when the seasonal race happens i'm like that is a I, that, that sounds like a very not fun way to look at it yeah the metaphor was that i, I saw the opposite though it's the opposite the, the way of looking at the, the 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 unfun way of looking at it is literally thinking that the entire point of the game is just level the character to 100 and once you've done that you just might as well not play it anymore it's it's the it's the opposite if you can only play diablo 4 for literally like an average of like three hours per week do you know what at that point i can see if you can only play for like three hours a week I can see an argument being made that actually you literally even if you played three hours a week for the entire season you may not even progress to the new content at that point so now if that is your case i mean really i mean fuck man if you can only play that long i mean you need to question like what the fuck are you doing with your life where you don't have that much free time maybe you should figure out what's wrong with your life but you can't play the game for more than three hours a week okay because that's an issue but no at that point i could see an argument be made okay do you know what play on the eternal realm play on non-season and you know slowly progress through the game it, you know because you because it could take you literally like more than an entire length of a season to get a character to a point where you could even get to the end game uh diablo characters are like legos like it's not really about the, the oh, hey, it's not really about the finished project it's about getting there and yes there you go now you get there i just don't know if i share that philosophy like i i get that it would be hard to create seasons for diablo if you do have people that are just very quickly maxing classes to 100 because like what what is left to do so for those people i get that the kind of re-leveling process may make sense if they're that into the game where they just want to keep re-leveling characters after characters after characters every season um i'm just hoping that there is enough stuff for eternal characters to do where i at least feel like i can engage with some of the content i don't need to grind like diablo seasons non-stop like I, I don't really want to that's the other time that's the other factor here is time where I don't know if I want to keep re-leveling new characters and characters. Like, I have other games I have to play. I really... <laughs> Respect my time. It, you know, it's funny, though. You're not respecting your time more by, like, just logging into a character that's already got max loot and then just just trivializing the new content that comes out. Like, you're going to have less fun than if you made a new character, right? Like, imagine if you played PoE and the only way you played CoE was on standard and every time they release a new boss, you had just some character that's completely decked out with all the best shit. And you just can walk in and instigate it with infinite damage. It's like, is that respecting your time? Because that seems like it's the opposite of respecting your time. That's like the op that you're like literally. That's not even fun to do. Even like, that sounds like more of a waste of time than if you were to start again. I can't just like give up Destiny. I'm like, I don't want to give up Destiny. I, I still enjoy Destiny. So if if I can at least maybe avoid part of this grind for myself and still experience it to some extent on the characters I already have, that has some appeal to me. I guess it's just not really clear how things are going to fully change between, you know, Diablo 2 and 3 seasons with Diablo 4 seasons with the addition of the battle pass and, like, self-contained seasonal missions and enemies and loot and things. Like, 
some of this stuff wasn't around previously, and Diablo wasn't quite as heavily leaning on um, its live service ambitions. Uh, we also don't know when the first expansion is coming. If you have one main character now, and then you do four alts for each season, and then there's an expansion, and it introduces paladins, let's say. I absolutely believe paladins are coming. That's another character that you can you can level from scratch for, for a season. So um, I'm, I'm very curious how this is going to go with the what mix the of old players. Is, and the Bro, his logic is so bad. His logic is so bad, dude. Like, the fact that he thinks he needs to save a character to level up on a season, it just blows my mind. It's crazy to me. Lyric, okay, yeah, the lyric tweet. That's a lyric tweet. That's a lyric tweet. Oh, do you know what? I should probably reply to lyric tweet, actually. Oh, wait. The new players running into a system. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should probably reply to this. Wait. Oh, wait. I should finish this video first. I'll finish this video first, and then I'll look at the lyric tweet, and I'll reply to the lyric tweet. Okay? Right, let's finish this video first. familiar with. Uh, they have said some stuff is carrying over, like the fog of war on the map is going to be cleared. If you've cleared that before, the altars of Lilith are not going to reset. However, the rest of Renown is essentially going to reset. So, like, the dungeons, the strongholds, all of the side missions, which does not sound very fun to me, uh, all of that stuff. What does, he, does he just want to log in and then immediately only have dungeons to do? That's like it says. He just wants to log in and everything is done and all, like, that's it. He doesn't want a campaign to exist. He doesn't want quests to exist. He just logs, he just starts off. And then he's just immediately just doing that. Like that's it. I don't even. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. It's crazy to me. Instead of having the option to do the other things, like I don't. I don't know. Is is resetting. This is also an era where you can skip campaign. So it's not like some of the older games where you were often replaying the campaign like a million times to the point where like you turn off dialogue because you just don't want to hear the same stuff anymore. Really, you only have to play the campaign once in Diablo now, which I really like. It was a very good campaign. Don't get me wrong. I played it twice because I played it on my review build also. But I don't want to play it, you know. I, I In Diablo 3, it was terrible because you had to play through the whole campaign on, like, different difficulties with each character. And, like, it was... You really got sick of it by the end of that. So I think they made some significant progress in that area, and I'm glad they did it the way they did it. I'm just looking forward to hearing more about seasons specifically and kind of knowing what you can do and what you can't do and what definitely requires a seasonal character and what may not how the battle pass works into this what's in the battle pass what the theme of the season is they said they're they're essentially doing you know themed seasons so the example they always give is it's a zombie season they're not actually doing zombies but like some sort of specific theme for a season uh they said they're not really doing any like goofy things like you're not going to see like silly diablo armor skins anytime soon like they, they want to keep with the the vibe of the game as it stands it currently uh yeah, scary nightmare idea. crap you know what i mean like i don't know the armor looks pretty badass right now so if it's more of that i'm i'm all for it but um yeah so i'm i'm just curious how this goes i will do a circle back here once we have more information i'm bugging some of the diablo people on twitter to answer some of my questions we'll see if they get back to me they're 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 a very friendly accommodating bunch um like even Rod Ferguson's like the director of the whole franchise and he takes time to like respond to me when I bother him with stuff so that's very kind uh, but yeah I'm, I'm, let me know what you guys think in the comments like if you're like a hardcore Diablo 3 seasonal player and you really like that like I'm, I'm wondering what you really like about that if you're a new player and you're like that sucks like and you're gonna not engage with it I'm, I'm curious as well so anyway uh, thanks for watching and I would yeah Rod's his boy he's boy, boys with Rod's Okay, he's boys with Rod. Holy shit. Okay, that was just like, I feel like the most terrible takes I've seen. I feel like there's like, those are worse takes than people who just say the game shit and then provide zero evidence or reasoning. That's that's quite well, literally the like the least nuanced takes I've seen ever on, on, on Diablo 4. It's, that's impressive. Like, uh, that's impressive. What I understand is how is he so blindsided by the like the other point of views? He mentioned it for like one split second, but then I don't know. Wait, how, how do I get comments? I think it's one of these. No, the whole argument is like literally. You think you want to play standard, but you don't. It's it's literally one of these things. You think, okay, wait, do I want to start my new character or do I want to keep my character that's got a bunch of set gear? Well, you're like, well, why the fuck would I want to start again, right? Like it's face value. You don't. People people think they like, which is why they get baited and they bait themselves into playing standard. Which is why game companies who know better, right? Wait, people objectively enjoy the game more, right? It's like they do enjoy the game more. Uh, you know, with straight up economy resets, with straight up character item resets, right? With character resets. Because when you look at the character progression, it says if like um, progression and time, in terms of how your character evolves, it's like this, dude. It's like, it's like, like this. And this is time, right? So this is, this is progression, right? This is, this is character progression. So you got CP here, chat. 
This is time. So in Diablo 4, this is the equivalent of going from like 1 to 50. In PoE, this is probably the equivalent of going like 1 to 90. And that is like where you get the most fun. And then, and then what you're saying is like, hey, do you know what? I want to start a season. Okay, that's where you start. Now, now this is your graph, dude. Now this is your graph. Your graph is literally just a straight line. So your graph, and guess what? It's giga bitch, giga boring, and you just immediately quit. Diablo 4 delivered from cinematic uh, reveal years ago to release. Characters, environment, sound design abilities are also good. But now that I'm level 80, they played it way too safe. It's unfortunate that it follows uh, the read level every season path and didn't try to expand the game further in the end game instead. The game would be so much better, in my opinion, if uh, it had more things to do than Dungeon Grand Spam. They expanded the game in a lost arc way. The incentive to continue would have been higher. Okay, how do I explain this to him? Without sounding... How do I... I need to not come off against condescending. True. But... <laughs> True, but... <laughs> No, th what I need to say, what I want to say is that any game being dog shit has nothing to do with season resets. The end game is just dog shit. That makes sense, right? Totally agree that D4 has a solid baseline and that the end game of D4 is the last. I just don't see how that has anything to do with the seasons. I'm not sending this. I'm sending this. Then at 100 again every two months, every season. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no, dude. Uh, yeah. I don't see how that affects end game content. It just, I mean, spoiler, it doesn't. Right? It doesn't. But maybe Lurk is going to enlighten me and I'm going to find out. Because he is. God damn game.